Hi guys, I'm back. Last video for the day, and I wanted to end it with I wanted to do this video with, as a uh, mukbang because I like talking. I want to talk. Got my nice cup. Isn't that cute, y'all? Everybody in the city citizens. Isn't that cute? And I got um, fish and potatoes. Made it. She made a lot. It's good though. I only eat ketchup and stuff. So I do eat cheese. I'm trying not to eat cheese, so I didn't put any cheese on it. I should have got some mayonnaise. I might still do that. But anyway, um, I want to talk about um, getting ready for the summer, y'all. I'm ready for. I want. You know what? At first, I wanted to stay doing hair at home because I got sick mom, and I just. You know, I, I didn't want to be running from the shop home whenever she needed something or if there's an emergency, I'm right here, you know, or whatever. And then on top of that, you know, I'm coming back into the hair business because I've been gone for so long. So it's just a good way to start out because I'm getting back out there again. And I just really think it's the best way to, for me to do that right now until I can get into a shop. And so, but I definitely want to get into a shop. I actually want my own shop because I've done that for so many years. I've worked in shops for other people, running the shops and managing the shop and all that stuff. I rather, if I'm going to do it this time, I want to do it for myself. And if I'm going to have the burden of, you know, chasing folk for rent money and all that stuff, I'd rather it be for me and not for somebody else. Because that was a lot of work for me, always trying to collect the booth rent and trying to make sure that um everybody is okay and I didn't mind doing it because the girls I work with I love to death, you know, so every now and again we had people that wasn't part, you know, that hadn't always been there with us from the beginning and we had people come and go. But the three of us, we always was there. And I recently um got back in touch with them and it's been so good to talk to Shanae and talk to Tasha and just really be like, man, they made me just or they start. Make, I just started reminiscing, like, man, I got to get back in the shop because number one, that's what I love to do. I love doing hair, and it's not a chore. It's not a job. It's something. That, it's my passion. It's what I like to do, and I love doing it. And then number two, I'm a creative person. And that's how I create. I create by doing hair and styles and stuff. And so for me to not be able to be free and doing that. It's like, it feels like I'm holding back, like, like I'm not giving it a hundred percent. So I'm torn because I really want to go, if I'm going to do it, I really I want to do it, go a whole, a whole 100 full force and go for it. But, you know, at the same time, I realized I, my clientele isn't what it used to be. Hmm. Oh, good. But how people do muck brownies because you've been taught your whole life not to talk with your mouth full. And that's all you can do in these muck brownies is talk with your mouth full. So it's weird talking with my mouth full. But I'm ready. I want to go in the shop. I want to just, I miss people who would come in the shop and be like, do whatever you want to do to my hair. And I would get some of the most creative hairstyles that way. Like they let me be free and do what I wanted to do. And I've had a lot of new, new styles that a lot of people wear today. A lot of that stuff that I caught, caught or came up with or created or done and it's so it's so awesome. Like that's what I miss. I miss being able to do that kind of stuff. And so that's what I've been doing lately. Like on my mannequin, just doing stuff that people you don't see people do. Or if somebody do something, I take it and create and create something else out of it and critique it to do my what I wanted to do. Like whatever, because that's what makes you unique and different from all the other stylists. Because if everybody doing the same style. And why should I come and give you a hundred dollars to do what the girl next door is doing for fifty bucks? Or why should I come and let you do my hair when 
Or why should I drive all the way to where you at when the girl right next door, she doing the same style? You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't doing anything to make yourself stand out and separate from the rest of the girls, then you all, you're going to be always chasing your tail, trying to guarantee your spot, you know, trying to lock in clients and stuff. But if you're giving out something that everybody ain't offering, then that's when you blow up the spot. And that's how I did it. When I first came out of school, I was struggling, boy. I was struggling. And I was like, I had all these clients at home when I before I went to school, like but when I went to school I could I couldn't work like that because I had to get school done. You know, I, I was like, I can work hard now and let school just be a thing of oh when I go. I ain't that type of person. I wanted to go get my get it and get out. So that meant I had to cut my clients back at home. So I can go to school and study and really learn. Because I didn't want to just do hair. I didn't want to just go in there, sit there for the hours and not get nothing out of it. Because I wanted to be able to do everything under the sun. I want to be able to color, cut, wax, pierce, like whatever, nails, pedicures, hit, whatever. I wanted to be able to do everything. And getting your cosmetology license, they teach you everything. So they don't teach you how to do hair, but they teach you everything you need to know. To, do, to be good at what you do so and to know what you're talking about. So I, when I went to school, I wanted to make sure I got everything I needed to know. I learned everything I could possibly soak up. Even though things are always coming out and evolving and changing, you just have to keep educating yourself on everything. But your basics and your stuff that you will follow you for your whole career, I made sure I got that. Because... I don't want to be out here talking and looking like an idiot, you know, saying the wrong thing and that ain't the right head part and naming things that ain't the right. You know, I just didn't want to be out here looking stupid like that. So I made sure you know, when I went to school, I gave it my all, my 100% and I got everything I was supposed to get. I got my license. I got my cosmetology license. I got my manager license. I got my independent contractors. Like I was going for everything and I was going through the instructor the instructor license and stuff, but then I was like, mm, I don't know if I really don't teach or not, because when I learned that the teachers don't make nothing, I was like, boy, crap, I'll, I'll do hair for the rest of my life before I teach in a school or something, because they was only trying to pay the teachers, well, back when I came out of school, $12, I ain't, mm, no, I walked on right out of there. Sorry guys, I was supposed to get a straw. I wanna watch me turn that big cup up to my face, huh? But I forgot to get a straw. I'm not sure I couldn't find a straw. So I had to get some more straws because the kids come and they take a straw out the house every time they leave, so ain't no straw. But um yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that I had everything that I needed and then I was smart and educated about doing it. So when I got my own place I can do the same for my girls because I didn't want to be the only one in there. Everybody always coming to me. Can you show me how to color? Can you do this? Can you do that? I don't mind doing that. But if you don't work with me, I want to make sure you know what I know and that you can do what I can do. And that if you can't do that, we're going to get you up there where you can so that not only are you making money, I'm going to be making money because then our businesses will be thriving, you know, people will be coming in and sitting down and getting services. And then when I go to, you know, I'm not there, I don't have to worry about if somebody coloring wrong or if somebody cutting wrong or if somebody not doing something right or, you know, I don't want to have to worry about that. So that's why I made sure that my girls, if they didn't know how to do something, they really wanted to learn. I teach them whatever I know and show them tricks and stuff because a lot of times people feel like, um, you know, you you if you comb hair, you must be a good stylist. But really, there's a lot to that because if you you can comb hair, and do good hair, but it don't make you um it it don't make you. Let me see how can I say this? Because people, cause some people can comb hair and do good hair, do good hair. They're just not creatively good at it. You know what I'm trying to say? Like they can come in, you come in, get a wrap, they can wrap you, put you on a dryer all day long. But can they do what you need to do for that hair? Can they make sure you're getting the right 
conditioning treatments? Can they make sure that you're getting the right heat um, heat settings for that desired look? Because sometimes if you're doing a natural girl hair, you can't put no natural hair girl under a hot dryer. Her hair will revert back and you look like you ain't even got your hair. You know, it's like little stuff like that. So if everybody ain't good at, you know, at that or an, an, uh, analyzing stuff all the time, like I'm always analyzing stuff. I'm always thinking about, okay, this girl's natural. What do I need to do? I need to do this. I need to do that. And she can get this just by doing this, 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 and then that, dessert, you know. And then I'm always not, I don't want to say shortcut, but I'm always looking for ways, techniques that can make a service faster. So like, I don't want a customer to come in and, and leave and been in my salon for five hours to get finger waves, five hours to get a wrap, five hours to get roller set. Five hours. Those are basic services. Those services, you should not be in my salon more than 30 to 45 minutes. If you got thick, long hair, then you can guarantee an hour. But if your hair is short and you just come and get shortcuts and short styles and stuff like that, you should not be in my salon more than 30 to 45 minutes. I mean, that's, I mean, that's dryer time. 15 minutes to style, 30 minutes under the dryer, 15 minutes to style. Unless you're getting something that requires some harsh products like freeze curls or something like that. And, I ain't, and people ain't wearing freeze curls right now. So that's the style I want to bring back though. Because I used to love those freeze curls. I can curl some curls out of some freeze curls. But um, just all that, you know, just a lot of stuff. A lot of, you have to have creative juices in order to be very 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 successful in the business you can be you can do good hair and people will come and let you do their hair but if you want to be very 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 successful you got to know the tricks to the trade you got to be you got to be all of that you can't just be one thing i only do this and a lot of people do have success in only only doing shortcuts or only doing relaxing styles or only doing braids, but I just feel like I'm gonna make double the money if I can make it. If I can do a relaxer, I'm gonna do it. If I need to do braids, I'm gonna do it. If I need to do a luster silk, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Y'all might not know what a luster silk is, that's a throwback. But if I need to do a perm, I can do a perm. If I need to do whatever, I can do whatever. I can do black hair, Caucasian hair, Chinese hair, I can do all walks of life. Whatever you need to do, you need your hair trim, cut, whatever, I can do it. I just, I wanted to be that kind of stylist. If a man walk in and say, can you shave me? I sure can have a seat. I know how to shave. I know how to put the wraps on their face. I know how to do everything to treat their face and their skin and stuff. I know how to shave a bald head with a razor. Like, I know how to use a razor. A lot of people scared of these razors. I'm not, I, would, I ain't nothing in the hair business that I'm scared to do. I would do it. I might not like it, like single ease twists. I hate them, but I know I do them. I know how to put them in. But I had to shoot these videos because I'm trying to get caught up. My mom was sick, so for a few days I wasn't able to shoot. And then on top of them few days, my camera was acting up. I couldn't video on my camera on my phone. But then I had to learn how to do it on the computer, and that took me a little bit to learn how to do so. I had to figure it out on my own. It took me a long time, but look, I'm videoing it, right? Figured it out. So I'm getting there, guys. Hopefully soon. By the time summer comes, I've been thinking hard and praying hard about it because I really want to get into a salon. And I really want to move it from the house because... It's so, you know, so much, but at the same time, I do need to be close to home. So maybe if I can find something close to home so that when my mom called me, it don't take me but a skip and a jump to get to her. And if I can do it again in the salon soon, then you guys will get to come along on a trip with me and we get to go look for a spot and go look for furniture and I love that kind of stuff. That's that's the fun that's the fun part for me of getting it all together and putting it together and then seeing it at the end and then seeing it boom and thrive. So that's something that's I'm looking so forward to doing, especially at this time in my life, because that's how I wanted to retire was standing behind a chair. That's how I want to retire. So um you guys, I ain't gonna talk to you to death, I ain't gonna hold you. 
This was fun. This is my last video for the day. I'll be back and talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm getting my man to take her hair out. Once I finish taking these braids down, we'll be back at it again. Yeah, I told y'all I was saving the hair. You should see all this hair I got over here on the end of the table. It's coming down real easy, you know. I say that hair and I'm gonna reuse it. I'm gonna do some uh wrap a wrap set on her uh boho wrap. What they call it? not boho. I don't know why I keep saying boho. But hey me and the um you'll see. I can't think of what it is right now. But alright guys, you keep watching, I'll keep posting. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And don't forget, please subscribe, guys. I'm I'm getting there. I had 25 subscribers for forever. Now I got 29 subscribers. So let's get me up there. Get me up there, y'all. Let's go. I bring y'all good content. Um, If you don't like something, let me know. I'm more than happy to change things around, switch things up, get a new backdrop, whatever it is, because I'm here for you guys to entertain you guys. So you guys let me know what you like, what you don't like, and I'll make it happen. Thanks.